Makeup seen on Shark Tank. Let's get into it. So we're gonna begin with the brand Luna Magic. I found them first at Walmart and I tried their highlighter, which I fell in love with. So when they went on Shark Tank, I just checked it was like in 2021 when it aired their episode. Their pitch was basically makeup at a great price point that delivered, has pigment, has longevity, that looks beautiful. So let's get into it. We're gonna start first with this little eyeshadow palette. So this little palette has six matte shades and then these two shimmers and then this one right here is more of like a pressed metallic glitter it's really pretty and they most of the shadows swatched good i would say these first two these top purple and this top like raspberry deep red shade they swatched not as creamy and buttery as the other matte shades i'm just using the darker brown eyeshadow and this is going to help create a guide this brown shade is very pigmented. It's very buttery. Not a lot of fallout. Just very gently bringing it up into the crease. I'm gonna take more of a dense brush. I'm gonna take this sh shadow right here in Goddess. And I'm gonna bring this into the crease. Let's take Luna Magic Liquid Liner Pen. It's a black color. This Luna Magic liquid black eyeliner is actually really good. The felt tip, it's very easy to work with. I like that it's pretty sharp. You can be precise with it. But what I like about it is it's black. It layers really well. It's not a shiny finish. Love that it's a matte finish and it's a very black. For my eyelashes, I'm gonna take this pack of four. This is Luna Magic. They're foaming lashes in muñeca style. I think that means doll. I looked up, it said doll or wrist. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume doll. <laughs> All right, let's take the top row. We're gonna measure, cut. I'm gonna take their clear adhesive from Luna Magic and apply these lashes. Eyelashes are also very easy to work with, but these are beautiful. And I think if you like faux lashes and you wear them all the time, you're gonna like these a lot. Very wispy. They're very pretty on the eyes and they're not too intense. Next makeup seen on Shark Tank is Range Beauty. Their makeup brand was all about inclusivity. That was their launch especially for, for skin that is acne and eczema prone. And this is their True Intentions Hydrating Foundation. This is supposed to have a medium buildable coverage with a natural finish, like a hydrating finish. This is a $30 foundation. I did a match on their website and I got this shade, which is, what shade are you? I actually don't know what the color is. Okay, so I had to look up on the packaging, the slip, and it says I picked up shade Coconut Milk, which I looked and it's a second to lightest shade. For sheer coverage, apply with hands. For medium to buildable coverage, apply with brush or a sponge. Okay. It smells clean. <laughs> There's no fragrance like perfume, but it does smell clean. I don't have any primer. I just have my skincare underneath. And this is what we're going to apply. First, I'm gonna use my fingers to apply. This is going to start warming up the formula on my skin and also on the back of my hand, just to get that going. I'm gonna use my it Cosmetics foundation brush and just start working this in. It has a little bit of like an oily texture, but it's blending down really nice. The finish of the Range Beauty True Intentions foundation, it's giving a very glass skin-like finish. I really am liking it, but I think it's looking a little too intense on the forehead, like in my T-zone area, just because I have combination skin, which means T-zone gets oily throughout the day, so I am going to set after I apply my concealer. But as of right now, the blendability, the application, the finish of this foundation, I'm really, really enjoying. I'm really impressed with the way the foundation is setting. The only thing is the shade. It's a little too deep. I am going to set my face using a little bit of Givenchy powder. I'm gonna set the concealer and the forehead. I picked up a blush and the highlighter from Luna Magic. They updated their packaging since last time I bought it and I broke my Tullum highlighter. <laughs> so I wanted a new one. For blush, this is a powder in shade 
Maribel. This blush shade kind of reminds me of Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. I like that you need a little bit and it has a great payoff. Again, texture is very nice to work with. And then we're gonna take the highlighter, tell them, using a brush to apply this. If you want a drugstore highlighter that packs a punch, try this formula. It has a creamy texture. It's not powdery. I like to apply it with a brush and then use either like my finger or like a dampened sponge to go over it to soften it even more. But this is very pretty. Next makeup seen on Shark Tank is the lip bar. They were actually rejected on Shark Tank, but as of today, as of now, the lip bar is available at Target, Walmart, and I believe Meyer. so big retailers. So this is a non-toxic formula. I picked up two red shades, which I'm excited about. We're gonna see how great this non-stop liquid matte lipstick is. This is Rich Auntie. Now we have Hot Mama. Rich Auntie is a little more raspberry. Hot Mama, it's a little more red. They swatch really nice. So again, it's supposed to be a non-toxic formula. They're paraben-free, gluten-free, vegan, cruelty-free. This is supposed to be a very comfortable formula to wear. Super long wearing, bold pigments, yes, very, very pigmented. And it's not supposed to dry out your lips. Love that. So it's going to apply very silky, like almost close to a gloss, but when they dry down, it's going to be fully matte, but with comfortable wear. So we're gonna test that out. We have dried down fully matte, and as of right now, it's extremely comfortable on the lips. Usually with a liquid matte lipstick finish, it feels very tight, my lips, once it sets and dries, but this formula, the lip bar, very comfortable. I'm very excited to see how it wears. I just wanna do a quick little kiss test. Okay, you can see a little bit of the outline and a little bit of like the inner lip transferred a tad. And the color is very bold, very pigmented. And I like these two shades mixed together. These two, Hot Mama, Rich Auntie. But let's move on to the rest of this makeup review and see how the makeup wears throughout the day. First check-in, it's three hours in. Lip looks flawless. There's still a little bit when I kiss, it's kind of like the outline as if it were like a lip liner. But when I'm drinking, when I'm eating, like I'm not seeing any lipstick left over. I haven't had a big meal yet. It's been more of like just water, a little bit of coffee and just snacks. I think my complexion is looking so nice. There's a little bit of a glow as you can see on the forehead, a little bit right here around the T-zone. But it is a very hydrating foundation, but I'm more so impressed with how just the texture is looking on my skin. If you have combination skin or oily skin, I would definitely set it to add that longevity. I think the blush is still popping. That highlight is still popping from Luna Magic. I mean, look at that. The blush and the highlight, it's not settling into my fine lines and the texture. I'm looking pretty airbrushed, but glowy at the same time. For dinner, I made cheesy cheeseburger pasta. Just finished eating and this is what the lip looks like. You see me? Emma is the cameraman today. So you see what it's doing? It's starting to melt the lipstick, like the oils from the food. But what's left underneath is a stunning stain that is ridiculously comfortable. Super impressed with this lipstick. 10 hours in and this is how we are looking. Let's start first with the lips. I am impressed that it's not transferring as much and it's not budging as much as I thought. Like it's not rubbing off. I'm just not happy that it's starting to bleed. I think if anything, I would probably use a lip liner first just to make sure the lipstick doesn't bleed elsewhere. But the formula itself, it's still very comfortable. Moving on to the rest of the makeup. Let's start first with Luna Magic, the eyeshadow, eyeliner, and the eyelashes. Very impressed with all three. Moving on to the blush and the highlighter. I already knew I love the highlighter. I just wanted to pick up a new one because mine broke, but the highlighter is still popping. It's not doing anything weird. It's not settling. It doesn't look crepey. It doesn't look dry. That blush is incredible. Look at how gorgeous 
the cheeks still look, the blush is still popping. Now let's move on to the complexion, the foundation from Range Beauty. I like it. The one thing I will say, I think it's looking a little dry in certain areas. It's not really long wearing, this foundation. I'd want to pair it with maybe like a gripping primer. I've been really liking gripping primers, guys, lately. They, they've been working for me, my skin type. Overall, I think we have quite a bit of good products. I think there's some great makeup brands. They have a great story behind them. That's why they even went on Shark Tank. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon.